So I've got a new section on the library. I'm calling it uh, Energy Blades. Um, and this first one, this was actually, I'm calling this a Death Star Blast uh, blade. So the actual effect is, is kind of a play on the Death Star Blast from A New Hope. Um, it's uh, particularly in person, there's just a continuous big fast pulse going up the blade. Um, now I do also, I also did a new Prion effect that I'm calling um, uh, Death Star Primary Ignition. So I'll show that again. Um, this one, uh, that's a post off, but on this uh, prion, the default in the library is going to be 8,000 milliseconds. I do that for all of them. Um, but this particular font has only a 700 millisecond um, prion sound. So I've really shortened the effect. But the, the, the preliminary uh, uh, primary ignition effect, it actually builds up the, both the size and the color of the blade before igniting. Now, this is going to be super quick, but you can extend it, and the default one's actually a lot longer. Um, but uh, so this is the Death Star uh, Blast blade style with the Death Star primary ignition prion, and that goes by pretty quick. And then you've got that full pulsing effect. Um, and then, in addition, I've updated my uh, my. Dark Saber style. Um, so previously, the Dark Saber style, you couldn't do the Customize Enhance, which kind of limited what you would do with it. So I've modified it so we can now use the Customize Enhance screen. So this is the uh, Dark Saber style. This is based off of the live action. So it only appears for a little bit, but in the Mandalorian, it's based off of the live action. So hopefully the uh, camera picks it up. But there's a kind of a, a staggering power effect that runs up the blade. And then this version has a swinger. Uh, as you swing it, it gets a little bit brighter and a little more unstable based on the speed you swing it at. Jedi, prepare for death. And I've also updated the Electro Staff style. So this is the the uh, this is one of the versions of the Electro Staff. There's two versions, but they can now also be customized and enhanced in the library. Um, so this is based off the Electro Staff weapon. Um, so it's an energy pulse um, with a uh, actually with a strobe built in. And then this is a, another energy blade. This one is called a rolling pulse. Um, so it's similar to the Death Star Blast. It's a, a little bit larger pulse, and it's a little bit more prominent, um, uh, and it's a, a little bit slower pace. Um, but that's uh, that's going to be another style available. And it, all these styles have all the fully responsive effects built in too. I didn't show it on all of them, um, but you get your responsive blast. So that blast location will be able to move based on the angular blade. You can also now, with the prop files, you can do the multi-blast. So that each swing... ...to trigger the blast. Um, and then you got the responsive clash. Uh, responsive lockup. Lightning block. And then melt. Um, and of course, with the library, you can add all your prions, post offs, your power ups, your cooldowns, all the different effects you want, force boost. Um, so, but now this being the rolling pulse blade style, you can choose this and then add to it. Um, and then I've got, I've got one more. Uh, this one, this one I'm calling the energy saw, and basically it's a, it's a, meant to be like a saw. So it's got a power that runs up the blade and then it comes down the blade, and it's going to keep going up and coming down. And hopefully the camera's picking it up. Um, but it's a back and forth saw-like movement of energy.
So these styles now, there's going to be uh, in the drop down filters, there's uh, now an energy uh, selection. Um, these are now available. Um, I took the Dark Saber and the Electro Staff style, they used to be under specialty. They're now part of the Energy Blade section too, um, just to try to keep everything organized. Um, as that library gets bigger, I know there's actually going to be a lot of scrolling, um, so try to help people find stuff uh, quicker. Um, but now with the Dark Saber style, the Electro Staff style, plus all these new energy styles, um, you can do the customized enhance, you can add anything you want to them um, to build them, and then even further than that, you can change everything um, you want. Oh, all these styles also already have the, the color wheel built in, um, so I didn't show that on everything, but you can go into color change mode, and you can change through all the possible colors, and the effect will hold the entire time. So there's eight default colors for any of these styles, but if you don't like a particular one, um, or you want to just tweak it slightly, you do have that ability with the color wheel. And you can get to whatever color you want. You go maybe into like a purple. And then lock it in. Uh, I guess that's a little pinker. but uh, So all the styles are up there. Um, you can uh, choose all your new effects, all your enhancements. Um, a lot more coming, um, but I just did this large update, so I wanted to kind of update everybody. Um, I still got more stuff in the work. Uh, OS 4.4 is uh, still being tested. Um, if you're running running it and everything's working great, just report it. If you run into anything, report it. But I think we're pretty close um, to getting out of beta. Um, I think there's a couple pieces that just need uh, to be tested and proven, and then we'll be good. Um, of course, that's all up to Frederick, but it's coming. Um, so library's been updated. Uh, you know, check out the new styles. Let me know what you think and. Hope you enjoy.